Yo, it's your boy Felipe Peck. Mickey Solo, P I F, paid in full, yeah. Yeah, stay hooked on to New Bay Live. Hi, what's up, people? This is Andy, the Royal Highness, and you're listening to New Bay Live. Hey, yo, yo, you're now listening to Hip Hop Uganda Live. It's your boy, truly, Sean. Home for Ugandan hip hop, hosted by yours truly, Sean. Sean. Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy Anonymous, G2 Complex, most official, and you're listening to Hip Hop Uganda on Nuve Live. Just right, right here, right here. Get it, get it, get it. You're now listening to another episode of the Nouvelle Live Podcast, Hip Hop Uganda Live, hosted by Sean. What's up, people? Welcome to the Nouvelle Live Podcast, and I'm Sean, your host. Uh, last week we had Nays Avatar of, of Port Bell Drive and uh, we spoke about a bunch of things but most interestingly is uh, our sampling. Yeah, we spoke about uh, some of the dope samples out there including Chigozi, uh, Misinde, Keiko and uh, he told me of his favorite uh, sample, Killer Siku, produced by Stone Town uh, which was on... Uh, LP's mixtape, yeah, the made LP uh, mixtape. Yeah, it was a great experience. We had a good time, spoke about a number of very entertaining and educative things. I hope you got that. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Nuve Live. You can follow me personally at Nuve Sean, that is N U V E Y S H A W N. And most likely, you can also check us on Instagram at Nuve Live. Uh, check us out on uh, Facebook at Nouvel Live. And to get these episodes, you can uh, get the previous episode. That's episode 9 from our blog. That is nouvellelive.wordpress.com. Yeah, and you can have a good time. Today being a good day, uh, I present you episode 10. Yeah, I, I thought of speaking about sampling for another week, but... Uh, I didn't get time to, to, to connect with a number of uh, people who are more knowledgeable about uh, the art itself. Yeah, but the art of sampling will continue probably next week. We shall uh, give you a part two. I might be speaking to another producer about uh, sampling in general. Well, today on the show, I do have a special guest, a young FMC. Uh, and I, I think she's the, the third FMC to be on Hip Hop Uganda Live Though she's she's like the sixth MC to be on one of our podcasts She has, uh, I think, a great history with music Yeah, she might be having a great history with music Moment of silence Okay, <laughs> Twishy, what's up? Nothing much, what's up? Yeah, nothing much, just uh... looking at you and uh, wondering who is Tushi Polo? Um, Tushi. Tushi Polo is uh, just um, Tushi Polo is me, a uh, humble a rapper, actress, and singer, songwriter. If I do more than that, then I would be weird. Uh, I am. Um, what? That. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's Tushi, your like real name, or no? Tushi is not my real name. Uh, my real name is Patricia Tracy Namujuzi. So this is how Tushi came up. I have uh, 
my kid brothers, I have siblings that are twins, so when they were still young, they couldn't pronounce Trisha okay. as Trisha. So they kept on calling me Tushi, and I liked the name, so I decided to use it as my stage name. But recently, I don't know if it's French or whatever, I found out that the name means, my God, I don't know. My name means something else that is not good, and I'm thinking about changing it, but I can't. I hope I'm allowed to say Touche. Some people refer to, I don't know what it's your, your name means, what what you think is wrong, but... I've I don't know if it's the same pronunciation. I Mine think. is Tushi. Most okay. people call me Tush, okay. which is also cool. I mean, I just find it, but it is Tushi. I don't know if the other pronunciation is Tushi or Touche, uh, but it's, it's just a weird name. Uh, so okay. Anyway, that that aside, what is the uh, what is the essence of polo? Polo? Are you polo a golf player or something? No, I like polo because it's a simple and nice name, and it means haven. Polo means haven in in Acholi, and I have a very good friend who is a Choli who just put it up, and as well, polo came from way back in high school. We had a, a, a dance group called Polo, and like everyone, you know, in high school, you could have it's, it was like a username, so they could tell you that's Tushi, or that's Patricia Polo, so you would know she's from the Polo group. Okay. Yeah, so I kept on with it, but right. it generally means haven, so that's yeah, why great, I like great it. Great stuff. So, uh, so how long have you been involved with uh, hip hop? Not long. Was your break? Was it a break dance group, or just dance? When? When you were in high school? Yeah. No, it wasn't. No, I can't do break dance. Come on. Okay, if if we did, uh, then I would say you have been involved with hip hop that long, cause breaking is is one of the elements of yeah. hip hop. So. Yeah, I know, but no, it wasn't break dance. It was just dance, you know, high school. Oh, yeah, maybe after he will show me how you dance. Uh, so anyway, I asked uh, how long have you been involved like with hip hop? Um, let me say formally, oh, officially, it's not long. It is like as I said, doing it. I, I've been writing. I was writing even when I was in high school, but I wasn't recording anything. And generally, I wasn't performing. And my first performance was at uh, end of the week where I won the female champion. Okay. Uh, that is when I started. That's when I... I think that was in 2012. No, 2013. 2013. Yep. Okay, that's like three years from then. Yes. Three. Oh, great stuff. So wh- what are you doing exactly right now? You can tell us about the tracks you've made so far. Uh, recently, I just released a track called Bitter Past. Yeah, that that's the project that's recent. Um, um, right now, I'm not. Uh, I'm working on. I'm not going to say I'm working on an EP, but it is still like uh, an idea. Though so I have the writings because there's a song. It's going to have six songs. I, I could make them seven as an extra, but I want it to be six. And right now I'm done with two songs writing, and I'm waiting for a beat from Simon Ellie, and I'm hoping to work with Nace as well. Okay. So that's that's my next move. Oh, great stuff. So you've not spoken about tracks like Woman from the uh, Hip Hop Bootcamp? Yeah, Woman is part of the Hip Hop Bootcamp. I, I think I have like three songs from the Bootcamp. There's Woman with Zion MC and Twitch MC and uh, Black Pal okay. and then me then there's Jay Santino that's follow me Jay Santino and, and a guy called B.A.T that's his name B.A.T then there is uh, Every Day We're Trying that's Zamunda and Zion and Still Me yeah okay. there were three how, how was uh, the feeling working with uh, like being part of the hip hop boot camp it was okay. It was great. It was knowledgeable. And uh, I did a lot of learning. It helped me a lot to evaluate myself. And and it helped me. I, I got to learn a lot of things that I didn't know, especially about the music business. 
the promotion and all that and you know the sites the music sites because I was green about that as well uh, there are a lot of things that I learned yeah I, I think by the time you are a part of the hip hop boot camp Nouvelle Eve was still under construction I guess <laughs> maybe uh, uh, well don't, don't forget this episode has been powered by I Am Records uh, Port Bell Drive and the Nouvelle Live I Dig UG Hip Hop stickers uh, you can get yourself one at 1500 uh, well uh, two ship yes one other thing I, I want to ask you uh Peter passed. We listened to it before this, before the show. Yes. Uh, of course, I didn't ask you off off mic, but uh, I listened to it. it. Was my first time, and uh, one catchy line that I still I'm thinking of uh, is when you say, uh, "I lost my innocence at seven years old." Oh, oh, yeah. What exactly is that? How do you think? What What did you get? What came into your mind when you heard that? What came in my mind is I don't know what you meant. So, I what came in my mind is ask Tushi what exactly she's saying. It's okay. Really? You mean nothing came into your mind when innocence? Innocence. I've read books. Uh huh. W- one book which you spoke of is Lord of the Flies. Yeah. Which make me think. Actually, I. Which make me think you might have derived your concepts from that book. Um, I didn't. I I didn't really derive them from a book. I I just wanted to make it clear. When I said lost my innocence at seven, call me Lord of Flies. Yeah, actually, I did because. Th- those were young kids that lost their innocence as well. Yeah. And they were doing a lot of stuff. Um, bad stuff. Yeah, bad. But they were, they, they were playing with uh, pikes, spears and stuff. And they were killing. And they were killing. So tell me you killed someone. At no. S- a- age seven. Or it it comes, well, innocence comes with a lot of stuff. Uh, one thing, one big uh, thing we can relate that to is uh, se- a sexual connotation to it. Exactly. It's real. Who lost innocence at that that age? Oh, if it's your oh, if did I just ask this question? <coughs> did you even answer it? I, I haven't answered. <laughs> anyway, you can leave a comment below this post if you've gotten this episode yeah, on what you think is the innocence yeah. uh, to she lost. <laughs> Though I'm still going to ask her what exactly she means later on. So uh, you said you're not working real, uh, exactly on an EP or LP or anything like that. EP. You're working on an EP. Mm-hmm. You know, lately a number of people have been excited about making EPs, but uh, it's going to be my first EP. I don't okay. have a lot of singles. That is why I want to do it, and I don't want it to have collaborations at all. It's just going to be me. So I, I really need it. I'm planning on. I, I want to do music. I want to do as much music as I can. Yeah, uh, looking at your statistics, you have more collabs than your own yeah, singles, right? Exactly, that is why I don't want to do collabs. That's the inspiration. So, any any challenges as a FMC like you? Me challenges as a FMC? Uh, have I faced that much? I don't think I've. The only thing I've faced is, uh, well. I don't really like the FMC thing. I think it's it's not more of a challenge because it's a lot of people use it, but I just feel like if it's an MC and we all MCs, then we should be MCs, not FMCs. The FM shouldn't be added. Okay, does it feel like we are being... It feels like, yeah, she's was, female. She's a female MC. Them. Exactly. So it, it feels like... I'm not a battle MC, but it feels like the, the battle MCs that are female wouldn't like involve in a usual MC challenge with the men because if they say uh, battle for FMCs and battle for MCs it will look like so the MCs are the male and the FMCs are a category of its own of which it could be uh, the same thing so you 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 feel you feel like it's a it's a a point of discrimination right does it feel like that um yeah, kinda. He does. 
Okay, your your views are actually interesting. I I didn't think someone would come up and say that. It sort of makes some sense, though. So you've really faced no challenges as a film, but or but as an MC, maybe you like that better. Um, I have not really faced a lot of challenges okay. yet. Uh, You're now listening to another episode of the Nouvelle Live podcast, Hip Hop Uganda Live, hosted by Sean. Uh, well, I, I, like I said, I don't think I've faced a lot of challenges or any. I've not noticed any. The, the only challenges I've faced are challenges as me, as a person, not as a FMC. Because, you know, it, it depends. There's, there's a time I was with Twitch and we were supposed to perform at, uh, at Hip Hop Unplugged, I think. And when they called out to her, I, I, she had someone in the background say, ah, she's female. Because, I, I, okay, I think the guy expected her to be weak because she's female, yeah? So it affected her. It could be a challenge to, to many people, but, well, I think it could. I, I, I tend not to give a lot of attention to things that do not need my attention. It, couldn't have, it could have hurt her because it did, I think, but it didn't hurt me because I always want to come out and surprise. So if... There's, there's, there's when uh, people tend to think female MCs are weak and, you know, can't deliver, you know, the energy and all because it's rap, yeah? Yeah. But uh, it doesn't affect me because I always want to come out and surprise people and they have to just take whatever they want. So it's not a challenge for me. Okay, so uh, I think sometimes when when they cat- catalog uh, the fences in their own block is is try to like inspire them mm-hmm. or try to uh, at least make some 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 point that uh, there are female rappers yeah actually. i get that and i appreciate that okay mm-hmm. okay that's great so you're working on an ep does it have a title or? it has what's the title breaking free it has two i want to choose one okay it has awakening and breaking free and they're all tracks on it on a on a EP so I'll choose one that suits it right okay yeah maybe you can call it breaking free subtitle awakening the awakening <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe you could get to it it could be a, a great experience so uh, I don't know who who <clears throat> like who do you look up to like in the industry it could be for a uh, foreigner locally here <laughs> I'm a weird human being though I Lauren Hill. I love Lauren Hill. I love Rhapsody. Okay. I look up to the Stu. I like Kendrick Lamar. And I um I have a lot of people that inspire me. People that I'd look up to. And they have different different things that they do or are that would make me want to you know do something like them so it, it's a, a big list of people i guess all female rappers like lauren hill from uge sphinx says the same thing Agi. lauren hill is inspiring to all lauren hill <laughs> I, is I was expecting something like mc light oh that was that uh, they're all good uh, i prefer lauren hill uh, rhapsody that, that, that works oh, an angel has okay my god she's also a good one so lo- in here uh, so nice. lo- locally here who who does anyone inspire you like locally fancy yeah could be fancy okay let's not say fancy ladies or, like it's okay. okay i already <laughs> said it <laughs> ladies like tushi okay yes so yeah, uh, that's it Okay, so I'm, I'm going to ask you to tell me your top five UJ UJ hip hop tracks. My top five of all time. It doesn't matter. UJ hip hop tracks of yeah. all time. Yeah. Five. Zange Ziva Montuyo Sylvester Kabombo. Shout out Sylvester. Yes. Four. Love story. Saint Nelly said. Saint Nelly said. Saint Nelly said. Okay. Three is um, okay. Now that's going to be follow me, me and uh, 
Jay Sentino and and Bat. Then two is Drop It, Me and Tonic. One is Bitter Pass to Shipolo. Okay, interesting. <laughs> She's our own fun, <laughs> our own big fun. Uh. Yeah, before we wrap up, I promise to ask you again what uh, about P- Bitter Pass. Who produced Bitter Pass? Bitter Pass was produced at Urban Accent. Uh, the producer is called Ben Rick. Okay. Yeah. Ben, ben Rick. Yeah, Ben Rick, the producer. Shout outs to him. Yes, shout outs to him. He did a great job, man. Yeah, and oh, by the way, Bitter Pass was uh, influenced by a lot of people. And I want to thank Nelly Said, yeah, because they called me in for it. And and uh, Jiga, Jiga has a produ- some producer in Gulu that made that beat. Yeah, so I thank Jiga because he handed it over to me. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, do you have any plans with Bitter Pass? I understand it's two weeks old right now. Yeah. Okay. The video is still on hold. No video. Oh, speaking of videos, are you planning to do any visuals for any other tracks? System Interruption. Okay. Yeah, it's a song I did with um, a Californ- some rapper from California called Chosen. It's a collaboration with him and uh, another guy called Scooge Owens. He's from New York. It, it was... It was um, Scooge Owens... No, it is Chosen Destiny's album. Yeah, that I featured on. So we wanted to do a video, and they couldn't come this side. I couldn't go that side because it's two different, three different people from three different areas. Okay. So everyone is just going to give a clip of what they have and then pile it up, edit, and you know. So how did that come up? The the collaboration. Well, I'm on Facebook, and someone inboxes me. And he's telling me how he likes woman, and uh, he got to know me from the boot camp. Yeah, okay. and I, I think the, in, the the guys who are interviewing people this side, these guys that came from I don't know, I think it's the Danish embassy or something. Next level is it? Was it? No, it was next a, no, not next yeah. level. Next level is another thing. Okay. This was boot camp. Okay. Yeah. So he tells me he had for me, and he listened to my music, and he wanted to do something with me, and we did. Okay, that, that's great. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, tell us where people can get to you, like get your music, <coughs> your social networks. My music is on Reverb Nation to Shipolo. Yeah. ReverbNation.com slash to Shipolo. Yes. Okay. And then SoundCloud, it's still to Shipolo. Twitter, I, I'm not on Twitter yet. I was on Twitter. But uh, something messed up. Uh, it just Long made. Story. A, yeah. So Facebook, it's Tushi Polo beloved, and uh, Howie Bees, it's still Tushi Polo. I think that's it. Okay, that's good. No Instagram. No, I'm not on Instagram. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> I'll get there soon. I'm uh, Instagram. I, I thought that would be one something that fas- would fascinate yeah. you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this has been uh, Hip Hop Uganda Live, and I've been Sean, your host. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Nuve Live, Facebook Nuve Live, Instagram Nuve Live, and you can go ahead and visit our blog. That's nuvelive.wordpress.com. And you can follow me personally at Nuve Sean, that is N U V E Y double S H, not double S, S H A double U N. I guess it's hot in here. Double U. W. W like two U's. Yeah, two U's make a W. You see? So it is S H A W. W like okay, W N. Okay, W. I was just Yeah, sure. Uh Tush, you can go ahead and premiere your track as it plays in the background. Beta past. Um this is a track. Okay, this track actually is a true story. You promised to ask me questions, but it's okay. You forgot, so don't ask. Wait, so uh, you forgot? Wait, wait, wait. No, you forgot. I so um, I'm premiering. I'm guessing this is the last session of the interview. <laughs> okay. Bitter past is a. It's a, an emotional song. It's a deep story, a true story. 
about uh, a girl that is uh, trying to, you know, it's it's self-explanatory, trying to go through the, the bitter past mentally, physically and all that, going through a lot and is trying to, you know. But you say they forgot. Is the girl traumatized or she's trying to let out something? Yeah, she was. I don't think she is anymore. Okay. But she was, probably. She was, by the way. Who is that girl? Okay. Oh, la, la, complete la, your la, sentence. La, 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 la. <laughs> yeah, um, this, it's, a, it's a story about yeah, a girl who is trying to please someone. Actually, this song is talking about someone. A lot of people who have listened to it, not most of them, some of the people think it's a love story or breakup story, something like that. It's not that. And at the time on Facebook, I posted something like, if you really want to understand the concept of a song, just imagine a seven-year-old Tushi Polo rapping. So you will understand because no one falls in love at seven years, right? Okay. Yeah, so it is a, it's a, it's a bitter song, bitter past, and it's inspiring emotionally. If anyone out there could relate to the song... You're very welcome. Well, I guess I've not forgotten anything. I hope you haven't. I wish you do. <laughs> Anyways, I may not forget to close the show. Uh, this has been Hip Hop Uganda Live, and I'm Sean, your host. Don't forget to follow us. And for any inquiries, you can hit us up at nouvelleva at gmail.com or you can leave a comment in this comment section below. Uh, we out of here. Bye bye. Bitter past. The first time I try to plead, you took advantage in so damage. My organs bleed and need that bandage. Where were you to see that? I mean that. I hate that. How did this growth of fear in me and you too? How mean can you be? What just with your bed? I wear to see how I'm going. Got home with one of what to Satanga Mukahu. Did you get a Mazim on Buzabu? There were weapons and put up on your men. Let's have put so on in the world. What just with your bed? I wear to see how I'm going. Got home with one of what to Satanga Mukahu. Did you get a Mazim on Buzabu? There were weapons and put up on your men. Let's have put so on in the world. Hope I get through with, with the, the bitter past. past. Hope I get through with, with the, the bitter past. past. Hope I get through it. Hope I get through with the bitter past. Hope I get through with the bitter past. Hope I get through it. No, saying bye bye. Saying bye bye bye. Yeah, bye bye to the bitter past. Saying no more, saying no, no more, yeah, no, no, to the universe. Catch us right here, let's get it.